I'm sorry we put you in danger again. It's okay. You don't need to say that. We're friends now. Are you sure? Even I get freaked out traveling with Mila sometimes. You and me both. Hey, Elise. I bet we can find someplace nice and quiet for you to live around here. You'd be away from all this danger. But I don't want to leave. This is out of the blue. You got a line on someone who'd be willing to take her? Well, not yet. Don't go making promises you can't keep! <sighs> so what's the plan, kid? I'll figure something out. I promised Mila I would. For Mila, huh? Don't worry about me. Someone get these people to a hospital. Yes, sir! The doctors say all of the captured citizens will recover. You have my deepest gratitude, everyone. Mine too. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Well then, we should be going. Already? What's the rush? We'll have to pass through Fort Gandala from here. Fort Gandala? Then your destination must be Fenmont. Yes, I have unfinished business there. How do you plan to pass through the fortress? We'll just have to fight our way through. Not the easiest of plans. I shall send men to infiltrate the base. They will facilitate your passage. You sure you should be helping us? We are being chased by the military, after all. How Cheryl has never been particularly loyal to Noctigal. In fact, I just issued a formal complaint with the military and ordered their troops to withdraw. In other words, you're pretty much on the verge of war. Then we should take him up on his offer. It's certainly more appealing than a suicide charge. I see. Very well. We accept your offer. Excellent. After what you've done for my people, it is the least I can do. It will take some time to put the pieces in place, however. In the meantime, please, make yourselves at home. Rowan, please remain with our guests. Make certain they want for nothing. As you wish, sir. Thank you. What hooray! Sleepover party with Dracel! <laughs> you got it. You all must be tired. I will have rooms readied. Speak with me when you wish to retire. Thank you, and sorry for being a burden. You must be exhausted. You should rest. Allow me to see you to your chambers. You do not wish to retire, young master? Uh, not yet. I need some air. You seem burdened. Perhaps I could offer some counsel. Maybe. It's kind of personal. Is it about Miss Elise, perhaps? Huh? Uh, yeah. 
My young mistress was kind enough to recount how Miss Elise came to accompany you on your journey. Elise told Drissel about it? She's my responsibility. She has nothing to do with Mila's mission. I don't want to get her involved any more than she already is. Rowan, would the Sheryls be willing to take in Elise? She and Drissel get along so well, and you and Klein have been so nice to her. The girl is little more than a stranger to you, and yet she weighs heavily on your mind. Everyone teases me for being a do-gooding honor student, and maybe they're right. I just can't let things like this go. <laughs> Indeed. Please leave everything to me. I will discuss this matter with Lord Klein and Lady Drissel personally. Now you should rest. You need not add sleep deprivation to your list of burdens. Thanks. Good night. But of course, good night. I still haven't heard from my people at Fort Gondala. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? Don't worry. I'm sure everything... I still haven't heard from my people. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? Very well. I will send him at once. I'm counting on you, Rowan. I will not let you down. How long until you return? Let's see. It should take me no less than a day to get to and from on horseback. Oh. I suppose that means we'll have to bid farewell to our new friends tomorrow. Looks that way, if everything's on track. That settles it. Today, Ellie, Mila, and I are going shopping. Shopping? For real? Hooray! Time's a wasting. Let's go. Wait, where are we going? I promised to take Ellie shopping, silly. If you're leaving tomorrow, today's our only chance. Ah, uh, very well. You two carry on with your consumerism. No need for trinkets. It's not gonna kill you to tag along. Yeah, you might actually enjoy acting like a human girl for once. A human girl? Strictly speaking, the concept of gender does not apply to me. I merely took the form of a woman upon manifesting in this realm. I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. It's time to stand against these tyrants. <laughs> 